Do what thou wilt should be the whole law, everybody. I want you to watch this video all the way through, all right? And maybe it's not for you, but I want you to just take the time to watch this and hear me out, all right? Because this is not really, you know, what you're, what you're like, following me for. And I know a lot of you don't really care about this stuff. And some of you may be even prejudiced against it, okay? But I want you to hear me out. Guys, the stock market is different, okay? I, I see a lot of people, like, who just fight against the idea of the stock market, okay? But in the last year, not just because of the pandemic, trading stocks has changed. It's different than it used to be, all right? And I want you to hear me out so that you can try to understand what's changed and why, okay? So a lot of people will... Uh, attribute the change to the pandemic because a lot of people are staying at home and stuff but I I think that while that has like exacerbated it and accelerated it the stock market is different right now for a reason and I don't think that it's really going to change fundamentally from the way it is now okay people are making a fucking killing in the stock market. I mean, I have made, even after all the losses that I've had and stuff like that, I've made 70% in less than six months. My account is up 70% over the last six months. That's 10 times what I could have expected to make in a year, okay? I mean, think about that. And it's not because, I mean, yes, I'm a smart guy and I do do a lot of research and stuff. It's, it's not like free money. There's work involved. But, I mean, it's fundamentally changed the way the stock market works. And I see a lot of these old school, like, analysts on, art, on stuff from TV and articles and people talking about how, you know, they just don't understand why the market is not working the way it used to work. And it's true. The market is not working the way it did a year ago. The pandemic is part of that. But the biggest part of it is this, okay? People like you and me, okay, people who don't make a lot of money, have flooded into the stock market over the last year or so. I mean, just flooded. Like, for many, many years, up until the last year, the people who controlled the stock market were the people with a lot of money, the hedge fund managers, the the brokers who uh, trade stocks for other people and who manage other people's money, okay? But now, all of the people like us, who they would call retail investors, have flooded the stock market and are, and are trading in a different way than has been done in the past, okay? And I'm going to kind of explain it, and I'm going to talk about why I think that you should consider getting into the stock market, all right? So years ago, there, there's lots of times over the years I've, you know, gotten on these little, I get on these little kicks of wanting to do something new, you know what I mean? And I've looked into trading stocks many times, okay? And used to, the way it worked, just a year and a half ago, okay? A year and a half ago, if you would have gone and looked into trading stocks, you would have had all of these uh, barriers to entry. It would have been like, you would have had to have a bunch of money in the account, and every time you bought or sold a stock, it would have cost you five, 10, $15. So that makes it to where it's prohibitive for you to like take profits when you're up and then buy back in when it's down and do stuff like that because if you didn't make enough profit or you didn't have enough shares, then those fees would eat into it so much that it made it not worth it for people like us, okay? And then plus you had to put thousands of dollars into an account to be able to do it. But it's not like that anymore, okay? When Robinhood came out, and I'm not suggesting Robinhood because I don't like the platform, but when Robinhood came out and they started charging no fees, it forced the whole rest of the industry to stop charging all those fees. So pretty much anywhere you open a stock market account now, you can put $100 in there and start trading it and it don't cost you a penny. Okay, it don't it, it may cost you a penny, okay? There's some kind of a regulation that when you sell a stock, they have to charge you like 7 cents or something like that. Uh, but it's 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 nothing. It's virtually free, okay? So this has completely changed the landscape of the stock market. 
And so you see all these people, and because the hedge funds and the brokers controlled this thing for so long, there's this mindset of people about the stock market that is like, you want to be real super careful, and you want to just only try to get 7% a year. You want to try to just track the market, invest in index funds, so that you can just get that little 7% a year, because that's safe, okay? But the stock market is not working like that now. Okay, like I, a year or two ago, uh, uh, an investor would never have thought that they could have invested in some speculative little uh, solar company and that it would just, just explode and double even when they're not even making a product yet. Okay, and that's happening like every day right now. Like these special purpose acquisition companies, SPACs, okay, that are like merging with these, they will, a company will go public through a SPAC, okay, because there's not as much red tape. So they'll merge with a company, and this happens constantly right now, okay, so, and the companies that they're merging with are largely like startups and companies that haven't been in operation and are not really showing profits, but for some reason, when they announce a merger, these things are doubling and tripling and people are making tons of money off of this and like the the mainstream analysts and the old school people are like why like why is this happening this doesn't make any sense and i'm gonna tell you why it's happening it's because we have an advantage you and i have an advantage that these hedge fund managers and stuff do not have okay we are able to invest in the future we're able to invest based on our conscience based on our beliefs about the the way the world is shifting and what is going to do well over the next say 10 to 20 years like you and I are able to do that and that's the way like when we think about the stock market we think buy low sell high we think try to invest in things that are going to blow up in the future and stuff like that but see the people who have been controlling the stock market for all these years they don't think like that. They can't. They don't have the uh, luxury of thinking like that, whereas we do. So we have a huge advantage. So why do they not have the luxury of thinking like that, okay? These people manage other people's money, and the majority of the people's money that they manage have tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in the stock market. And these people are constantly looking over their shoulders. And so if they don't perform as well as their peers perform over just a couple of quarters, they're fucking fired. You know what I mean? And and so that's what has that's what has created this do it slow, just SP S P five hundred funds and you'll get five to seven percent a year. That has fostered this mentality that uh, you know it permeates the old school stock market people, okay? But all of these new investors that have moved into the market don't think that way because we don't have anybody looking over our shoulders. So I can invest in a solar company that's going to explode over the next 10 years, even if they're not like turning a huge profit right now. Whereas these people who manage other people's money, they can't think like that. They have to think in this slow mentality. But guys, I've made 70%. 70% in five months. And that's like mostly just watching YouTube videos and stuff and doing research on YouTube. Like I haven't done a ton of work or, you know, you don't have to be a genius to beat what the market is, is the overall market is doing. Like you don't have to be a genius to do it. And just by picking some more progressive uh, forward-looking ETFs, which are like groups of stocks, like mutual funds, instead of investing in like an S&P 500 one that tracks the total market, like just by investing in these more targeted ones like solar, electric vehicles, stuff that we know is going to explode, you can do it with even less work. Like I'm investing in mostly individual stocks, but you have ETFs and mutual fund type things that you can invest in that are more targeted and don't include all the stuff that the S&P includes, like Chevron and Exxon and all this stuff that we know is on the way out. And this allows you to way outperform the market, okay? 
I had I was in a solar fund for a while, uh, only a couple of months. I don't even know if it was that long, and I did like 17% or something. That's more than you will make. That's more than twice what you will make in a year in an S&P 500 fund that I did in just a couple of months. So, uh, I... And I, I just wanted to talk about this. I want you to understand that the stock market is not what everybody thinks it is. Can you lose a bunch of money? Yeah, you can make stupid decisions and you can lose a bunch of money, okay? But if you pay attention to it and if you're if you're just, you know, minimally smart, you know, why not fucking, you know, they're never going to give us. They're never going to give us the things that we want in Congress and, the you know, the politicians. They're never going to give us the things that we want. They're going to try to beat us down. So why not beat these motherfuckers at their own game, all right? Like, if you can't beat them, join them. You know what I mean? I'm an independent. Yes, I heavily support progressive ideas and stuff, you know, and... Uh, but you can invest in those things. Like, you can actually invest in them, and they will make you money. Green New Deal type stuff. Uh, solar power. Electric vehicles. You know, things that have been just exploding and will continue to explode and will make you money while you're, like, contributing to that. You know, so why not join them? Like, these people don't understand what it's like to struggle. They don't understand that the, that this has given us an opportunity to rise up in a way that we did not have before. We were not able to really do this before with a couple hundred dollars a month or something like that. You know what I mean? But now we're able to, and you guys should really, like, take some time to pay attention to it and look at the shift that's taking place right now and take advantage of it. Love is the law. Love under will.